Yo, Elliot, this is a question about finding your soul goals. I've been reevaluating a lot. And I feel like I hit a dead end. I don't feel that passionate about anything in my life. And if I'm really honest, I don't really have a good why. It seems to have hit a wall in my career. I, I hit a wall in my career. I've been doing remote digital marketing work for a few years now. But if I'm being honest, I just don't care that much. I like the bits about human psychology, but doing reports and even doing creative work just kind of sucks. I feel like a grind. When I wrote my soul goals, I found a lot of things about leading, mentoring, being a sage, sharing wisdom, that kind of thing. I think ultimately I want to be the leader of my tribe. I want to be the one people come to seeking wisdom. I want to be respected, but I have no idea how to turn that into a career or where to start. I guess that I could kind of apply, that could apply to any type of management position, but I also feel like this might be more holistic than that. I do love personal development. I love creating productivity systems. I have an elaborate and well-oiled process I live my life by. I'm a devout Catholic. What do you think? Do you have any resources for hammering down your purpose in more depth if you still feel lost? I want to make a distinction between your work as a man and your purpose as a man. And I, and I know that we wish the two would always coalesce, but it's not necessary that it does. And of course, you know, I, I use my dad as an example because he is an example for me in my life. And my dad worked, he fixed his cars. He fixed his cars for a living. He's the best at fixing his cars because he puts his head down and he just does his fucking work. Does he, is he passionate about it? No, but he does it, why? Because of his purpose. His purpose is fatherhood. He's a grandfather. He's also a gardener. My father loves growing stuff. So he works his job without complaint because the job offers him the opportunity to do what he really wants to do. And although we live in a time and in a world where we want to blend the two, it's not always possible. And it's definitely not possible right off the bat. Sometimes you got to start somewhere and allow it to evolve into more of what's more congenial to you and your temperament. Right. And so you wanting to be a leader and a mentor and a sage and things like that does not have to be removed from what it is that you do as a job. You do your job because you got to work. Right. You do. Di and digital, digital marketing. Listen, man, you're you're doing the, the best thing you could possibly learn in order to be that kind of leader. What do you how do you think? How do you think I'm a leader? Right. Mentoring. How do you think that I become a mentor? To all these people to you and all the guys in this program and to perhaps millions that have seen my videos on YouTube. How did I do that? They do that just because I'm a natural born leader. No, I did it through digital marketing. I needed to learn digital marketing. I had to learn what you do for a living, which you're an expert in. I had to learn it so that I could do what you see me doing, which I'm an expert in. It's like you and me are on two ends of the spectrum. I was, Leading, right? Because as a personal trainer, as a coach, that's what I did. Coaches, personal trainers, that's the job of leading, leading by example and, and delivering wisdom, right? You can't be a fitness trainer. You can't be a mentor if you don't do those things. But I had to, I had to learn digital marketing, right? Way back in 2004, right? Before y'all probably even had the email addresses. I learned it so that I could catapult myself as a leader. So I need, you need both. You, you're already a digital marketer. It's nothing but to take those principles and turn them into an offer. I'm looking for a like-minded group of men that are wanting to grow stronger in this degenerate age. That's my message, essentially. Right? I'm, at, I'm, I'm using digital marketing to position myself as someone who is looking for mentees, people that are of a like-minded mindset, right? And they want to join a like-minded group of men and that are interested in what I have to say. Not everybody's interested in what I have to say. Not everybody's interested in my opinion. So I'm not trying to lead everybody. But those who are saying, hey, Elliot, I like what you're saying. I like where you're going. Tell me more. They're the ones that find me how do digital marketing. So my opinion to you is to keep doing what you're doing. Get very good at it. Be the best at it, right? Because you're going to need it. But then what harm is there in starting a little 
program, a little, a little program where you could begin practicing your leadership. You say you're a devout Catholic. Why don't you go to your parish and you, and you say, hey, I'm, I'm interested in starting a men's group. Right? I'm interested in, look at that. That's a men's group that has men who are of a like-minded nature. Catholic men's group. I would like to start a Catholic men's group and we're going to begin by reading the Bible together or we're going to read, you know, some, some lives of the saints or whatever. And we're, and you say you want to lead, you want to be, be a mentor, right? Maybe you become proficient in the teachings of a particular part of the faith and you give a class on it. I would like to offer a free class on the mass, right? The sacrifice of the mass and what it all means and why it's important, right? You can do that. You don't have to quit your job. And you can use your job to help bolster that, right? You could say, you could even say to the parish, hey, look, uh, I noticed that there aren't that many people that are signing up for the classes. Can, let me show you how I use digital marketing to get people enrolled. You know what I'm saying, dude? So never, never uh, denigrate your work, right? Because it puts food on your table. And you know what? I think a lot of pro problem is with a lot of guys is y'all don't have, you say you don't have, you know, you, you don't, you can't, you have a hard time finding your soul goal. You have no pressure in your life. Otherwise you realize that you just got to do what you got to do, whether you feel like it or not. When life is so easy, we can so quickly discard our, means oh i'll find something else or i'll do something else or but the real the reality is you got to do what you got to do every day you're always going to work everybody's going to work till the day you die you're going to be working bro so make the best of it be the best at it and then also you can use your extra time you can use the skills that you learn at work to do something that maybe is more congenial to your soul's work soul's purpose bro so hope that helps, man. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.